see it. The whole family is after us. They all hate you. They all know that you'd stop at nothing to win. Hello. Hola. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm doing great. Sorry, I just came from my night job, so I hope I didn't have a chance to change. So, oh my God, you're well. Listen, you're gonna steal my job in future because you're ready to shoot the show. Oh, absolutely! Uh, and uh, what an exciting show it is! I watched it last night. Oh my God, how far are you? Just so uh, I don't. Just the first episode. Just the, the first, first episode. Okay. Yeah, okay. and. Uh, well, it just looks like we're getting Halloween early this year, doesn't it? <laughs> are, yes, this is what I thought was interesting, that we're getting a summer sort of Halloween hit for all those Halloween fans. I personally am terrified. Halloween has always terrified me, so I'm in the wrong biz. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's going to be good for the Shutter fans, I think. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I'm a, I am just love anthology series. I just think they're so... They're so different. And, uh, you know, I think they, they're making a comeback because I was a kid. They had them all the time, you know, so and fun, uh, right? And with yours, it follows the Galloways, a wealthy family being stalked by a mass killer. You know, a simple premise is always the best, isn't it? <laughs> That's the thing. It to exactly. It's it's so clear, you know, and it gets you and it gets us all on that island for a family reunion. And we're stuck there. And the twist is this dysfunctional families up against each other in this cruel game. And uh, I, I just love, I don't want to say, I just love seeing like the wealthy and the affluent go at each other. You know, <laughs> it's just something just kind of, yes. like, you see them tear themselves apart and you know, forget the yeah. mass killer, right? The family will kill <laughs> each other if you give them time, right? That's right. You know, we were thinking, a lot of us had watched Succession before coming into it. So I think we were also coming off that, that inspo, like Succession with, with much more blood, <laughs> you know? And I love, no one is safe. The body count piles up and you, it keeps you guessing, at least so far what I've seen, you know, just, that's what I love about it too, is that it doesn't, it follows a formula, but then it kind of strays away from that because you get surprises. Totally. Totally. It's uh, it's going to surprise you even more. I'm not sure if you have any suspects yet, but it definitely takes many twists and turns. Well, I think what the most thrilling is that this new season, you added David Cronenberg. I mean, he's a legend in Hollywood, a true icon. Tell me about working with him. I've never met him. I would love to interview him and meet him because I grew up, you know, in high school watching all of his movies. And I just love how he's also an actor and he just has this presence about him. He's incredible. And I think He's such perfect casting for this. Of course, all of us were completely in awe of him. And of course, he's also the kindest, coolest man who made us all feel so comfortable. Um, but I, I love his performance in this so much. And hearing him speak about doing the show, um, you know, has been so interesting because I don't know that he gets to play um, parts like this usually. And he's unbelievable. That 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 uh, dinner scene that has been teased also and has been released online was one of my favorites to shoot for sure. Well, we also have returning cast members as well. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was such a delight to get to be paired with my old friend, Chris Jaco, um, in this. And it was so exciting for us because we have such a uh, such a playful banter and such a good friendship that to get to bring that to the table in, the, in this on-screen marriage was a real highlight for me. I had never worked with Sabrina before, um, who's also an alum, but oh my God, we became fast friends and also Florence is, is maybe my favorite character. I think, and looking at the trailer a couple of times, didn't you have a scream in that? Didn't you? Scream? There's a couple of screams. You know, yeah. that, that scream at the end is, uh, I, I, you know, I've worked up to my screams. I, I used to lose my voice when we do the screams in season two and uh, Aaron Martin would have to call me and say, you know, we have to redo them uh, in ADR, but but I've I've been working on them. And uh, I, I, I hope that this year they're sort of up to snuff. I hope the Shutter fans, approve well you've got the scream and i think weren't you covered in blood at one point <laughs> oh yes oh yes i will say it was the blood for me i think it was the bloodiest season I, I, as far as getting blood blood right on me because of the call sheet like oh today's the day i'm getting blood all over me <laughs> oh yes well i'm i mean i'm such good friends with our hair and makeup team um and our and our um, effects team so it was it was just an excuse to play in the hair and makeup room for a bit longer and to be with them longer it was so much fun well as an actress is the horror genre more challenging more exciting than any other kind of genre you know what i i'd never done horror before this and I was doing a musical uh, tour right before I joined season two. And I actually felt like it was oddly such a 
such a, a, a lateral move because the drama is high, the stakes are high, and uh, it really is so much fun. There's so much play involved. And I think the bigger, you know, the more you commit, obviously, the better it works. Um, Ian describes it often as like, you know, operatic almost. And I feel like it's challenging for sure. You know, there's no, there's no um, simple day. There's no light day on Flasher. We're, we're have there are big days. There's crying, there's screaming, often deaths and blood. But uh, but it is so much fun, and and this cast and crew really supported each other. It was it, there's there was such a camaraderie. It really felt like we were shooting one big long indie movie together. Um, so it was, yeah, it was so much fun to get to do this. That's so awesome. Well, Paula, Slasher, Flesh and Blood on Shutter.com. What a perfect home for this series. Uh, no, thank you so much for joining me today. And hey, thank come visit you. us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have. Oh, you. I would love that. All right. Well, now I'm of age. I, last time I went, I was not quite so. I can play those slots. Okay. There's lots of other things you can play too. So come on down and see us. Okay. Bye, Jeffrey. Thank you so much.